Hey there everyone, welcome back to another episode here on Northwest Rips. Uh, today is our finale um, of our series with Kyle's cards, or against Kyle's cards, um, in our Blaster Box Bro Battle. So those of you that have been kind of checking these out, um, this will be the last one uh, for right now, for this series anyways, um, against Kyle's cards. We have a 2020 Absolute Football Blaster, so this will be kind of fun. Eight cards per pack, eight packs per box. Uh, look for those retail exclusive parallels and autographs. So, uh, uh, features a 200 card set, including 100 base and 100 rookies. Um, those are some things that, uh, that you can find in there. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so we're going to obviously look for the ultra rare cut boom insert, but, um, never seen one of those before. And I've opened some, uh, absolute, um, not a ton of absolute, but I have. Um, definitely look for it. Have not seen it. A uh, kaboom. I've definitely seen them. Uh, I took, took a look online. It looks like if you pull one, they're pretty valuable. So, um, go ahead and, and get going on this. Uh, how, how this works, uh, I'm going to open up this. So those of you that haven't, uh, aren't familiar with it, uh, I open up my blaster here. Kyle's cards will open up the same, um, blaster box and then uh, we'll put our top five out at the end and see who's um you know based on votes that we get or what you guys think um see whose is the better um the better blaster box i guess all right so we'll go ahead and get started and see what we can uh, what we can get out of here All right, so we got a Kirk Cousins, Miles Sanders, DeAndre Hopkins having a great year there with Kyler Murray. Um, we got a Dwayne Haskins, green. <clears throat> Flip it around here. We got some rookies. Jalen Johnson for the Chicago Bears. We got a Brandon Ayuk, who's getting a lot more uh, action there in San Fran. Finding different ways to get him the ball and get him involved. Donovan Peoples-Jones, um, who uh, has been more active for the Browns, and now with um, with the injury to Odell Beckham Jr., I believe they will uh, um, be using him a little bit more, finding ways to get him involved. Um, and then ending with a Thaddeus Moss in that pack, and then the um, Kid Reporter. All right, going on to the next one here. Hope everyone is having a good week so far. Thursday, one more day left in the, in the standard week, and then uh, hopefully get some fun playing for the weekend. Uh, Sam Darnold. Derrick Henry. J.J. Watts. Uh, flashback, Phil Sims. We got a rookie of Jamichael Hasty, who now in San Fran, with all the injuries to the running backs they've been having, um, he is getting some opportunity there. So it'll be interesting to see how he does and and how, what that looks like for this guy there in uh, San Francisco. Antoine Winfield Jr. He's um, mid making plays there for the Buccaneers defense. Already getting involved. Uh, Joshua Kelly, another guy that's been. Um, pretty well involved with the uh, the San Diego offense. Um, and Damon Arnett. All right. Looks like, oh, and I forgot to also find one autograph or memorabilia card per box on average, too. So um, I'll try and see if I can catch that before, uh, before I reveal it. But we got Julio Jones, Derek Carr, Debo Samuel. We have a Justin Jefferson Green. That's a good one. Justin Jefferson is uh, having a good year there in, in Minnesota. Uh, Marlon Davidson, Grant Delpit. There's Tua Tagovailoa. So that's another, that's a top rookie. Um, that'll go in the pile for possibly going to my top five. Uh, we got a Javon Kinlaw and then another Kin Reporter. So yeah, we got the two. Let's see if we can get a Burrow or a, 
a Herbert, maybe a Clyde Edwards Lair. Um, see what we can get. Jonathan Williams or John Jonathan Taylor. <laughs> um, Dwayne Haskins. Carson Wentz. Saquon Barkley, stargazing of Josh Jacobs. He's been having a good year. I know they've been having some offensive line um, troubles. They had um, some guys with the the COVID um, on the IR because of COVID. Um, but hopefully, uh, I mean, he's been having a really good year. So um, we got LaMichael Perrine. Now I was getting in more involved because of the departure of Le'Veon Bell. Um, we got Desmond Patman. T. Higgins, one of the uh, top rookie receivers this year. He's been tearing it up. And ending with a James Prochet. Yeah, T. Higgins has been... That's that's going to be something to watch in the future for that Cincinnati Bengals. They got T. Higgins and, and Joe Burrow connecting in their rookie year. You know, already just doing well together. Um, that'll be interesting to see how that develops. Christian McCaffrey. Julian Edelman. Gardner Minshew. Carson Wentz, that's a green. We got a Anthony McFarlane Jr. Josh Uche. Dalton Keene. Steven Montez. And Kid Reporter. We have a David Johnson, Darren Waller, Bobby Wagner, the top middle linebacker there um, for the, well, I think top middle linebacker, one of the top in the NFL, but the middle linebacker for the Seattle Seahawks. Um, Antonio Gibson, so he's been, uh, he's been heavily involved there in Washington for the Washington football team uh, and has been doing well. So we got an introductions card of Antonio Gibson there. Um, Gabriel Davis, another rookie that's been involved. Trevon Diggs. Um, there's a CEH, Clyde Edwards Alaire. And Kyle Duggar. So CEH is one of the top running back um, rookies. He's been having a good year. Started off really hot, kind of slowed down a little bit, and then he had a really good week. Um, but uh, now with Le'Veon Bell, I'm not sure how it's going to go, um, but we'll see. Jared Goff, looks like we might have a, that's our relic underneath there, put that off to the side, underneath uh, Chris Godwin, it looks like over there. Mark Andrews, Unsung Heroes. Um, we'll go with Devin DuVernay. Ross Blacklock. James Morgan. Anthony Gordon from WSU and a kid reporter. Yeah, so unfortunately this feels like a relic card. I don't know if they um, have autos on those, but it feels like a relic. Um, Austin Eckler, hopefully he gets back from injury. Awesome running back, um, very skilled. We got uh, Adam Thielen, Tyreek Hill, Nick Chubb, another guy out with injury, um, Jordan Brooks, there's a PC hit, um, a rookie for the Seattle Seahawks, Colin Johnson, he's the big receiver for Jacksonville, I think he's like, I don't know, 6'7 or something, 6'6". Six, six. But, uh, yeah, huge target. Lynn Bowden Jr. and Eno Benjamin. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our relic. Hopefully it's uh, it's under here. Um, Chris Godwin. Let's see. And J.K. Dobbins. All right, J.K. Dobbins, another rookie that's uh, been involved with his offense. There it is. Rookie materials, J.K. Dobbins. Um, pretty cool card. 
Put that one up there. We got our, I'm trying to think our top five. So Clive Edwards, Elaire. Um, obviously got to go with Tua. He's now the starting quarterback, name starter. What do you guys think about that? Um, having Tua, I mean, Fitzpatrick was having a good year. Um, and they just uh, decided they're going to go with uh, Tua and see how that goes. Um, I don't know. Justin Jefferson, the green uh, parallel. Um, Justin Jefferson, another guy that's been been tearing it up um, as a rookie, been doing well. But uh, so we got some pretty solid rookies as far as, uh, you know, looking at this. And then, you know, T. Higgins, one of the, probably one of, if not the top, uh, one of the top receivers as far as, you know, looking at his, how he's doing this year, you know, stat wise, um, he's doing very good. But uh, yeah, I'm going to roll with that as my top five. We will see what Kyle's cards um, is able to pull on his channel. I'll try and end, end, uh, put a link in at the end of this video so you guys can click on that and go over and check out his channel. Make sure you leave a comment on the video and let, let me know uh, who you guys think wins this battle. Um, uh, like the video. And then uh, if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribed. I appreciate the support I've been getting. Um, but uh, yeah, this is the finale for the uh, the Blaster Box battle of this series against Kyle's Cards. So be sure to jump on over to Kyle's Cards channel and, and check that out and let us know who you think wins. Thank you very much. Hope uh, you guys are having a good week. And then uh, until next time, uh, I will try and do another video probably tomorrow, tomorrow night, Friday night. Figure something out there. Uh, make something fun up. But uh, thank you for watching and take care.